Welcome back to the Reseller Journey Podcast. And in this episode, we're going to be tackling something that has been talked about more and more, especially in our Patreon group as of late, is how can we develop trending keywords to help us get more sales? I believe if you're selling on eBay, the way you can generate more sales is by getting some trending keywords that people are actually using so they can find the items that you're selling. So we're going to be looking at a few popular trending keywords today to be able to help you guys go further faster in your reselling journey. I am all about titles, title structure, and developing the proper titles so we can align our items up with the correct buyers. So we're going to be looking at some keywords today that might surprise you and may be a little bit odd, but these keywords are trending keywords found in a recent study done by Vendu, and we're going to be looking at some of those just to be able to help us sell our items. And these are going to be mainly keywords for clothing, though some of these keywords may apply to other categories as well. Also, if you have questions throughout this live stream, please drop them in the comment section over here or over there, wherever it is, and I'll circle back to you and answer any questions that you have. Also, if you are looking for an actual guide to all of these item specifics, I have them linked in the description down below where you can save that website, bookmark it, and to use it as a resource as you do your listing. So let's not waste any more time and let's get into what are some of these keywords, what are some of the definitions, and how we can start making more sales, especially in our reselling business. So this is just a guide to popular trending aesthetics. So I know that aesthetics are a crucial part of personal style. Here is a guide to some of those most popular aesthetics and how to achieve them when structuring our titles. So the first one is light academia. What does that mean? That is a style. It is a trending clothing style. So what encompasses this keyword? Plaid and trench coats. Get inspired by classy Preppy clothing. That is where you would put in the keyword light academia. Chunky loafers. Add some thickness to your shoe collection. Thick knit sweaters and brass and gold tone accessories. So light academia, when I'm using that keyword, I'm looking at things like Hollister, Aeropostale, American Eagle, some of the more preppier brands, even Polo Ralph Lauren, when it looks more like a lighter color, more preppy, I would be using instead of preppy, or if I could fit preppy in my title, I would also be using light academia as a keyword. And I've noticed that my items are selling much faster when I'm starting to apply some of these keywords to my newest listings. I have 9,600 listings, so it's gonna take me a while to go back and refresh all of my older listings and update them, but I am have my listers now trained to a good point where they now understand to use some of these trending keywords. So I'm noticing I'm selling a lot more newer inventory and some of my older inventory still hanging around because I'm not I have not yet gotten to that correcting their titles and in, in inputting some of these trending keywords. So the next one is based on athleisure. So we kind of all know what that is, but I'll touch on that for a moment. Uh, it's mainly going to be leggings. It's going to be biker shorts, cute strappy tanks, and matching sets. So athleisure is going to be anything sports-related, athletic, um, and you saw kind of an uptick uh, during the pandemic with people wearing more athleisure. And um, it's definitely a keyword you're going to want to put into any kind of spandex material, jogging material, um, you know, things like that. Um, that is mainly going to be what you want to put into your titles. Um, another one's a strange one, uh, ballet core. That's just what's trending right now. And what entails ballet core? Uh, ruffles and lace. So inspired by ballerinas and dancewear, this style encourages delicate, pretty fashion. So what I would suggest, and this is what I'm going to be doing as well, is going to your oldest listings first. Take that guide that I listed in the description down below and 
open that maybe up on a separate screen or in another tab and go through your oldest listings and start updating some of your keywords. Take out keywords like long sleeve, short sleeve. Um, even I would go as far as if you have cotton in your title, that's an item specific. So we don't need to really be putting our item specifics in our titles. Um, I would be looking to put more trending keywords in your titles and take out the things that are, you know, short sleeve, long sleeve. Those are those aren't strong keywords where if you're going to be replacing the keywords that we're going to be talking about in today's show, um, that is what people are looking for. And it's a certain aesthetic that the buyer knows. So you need to be able to tap into the mind of the buyer, right? When you're listing your item, you need to know who is this item for? And the better you can be at that, the better you can be at structuring your title. So it aligns with the correct buyer. So ballet core. That's strange, right? But if you have some aesthetics in your store that match this keyword, you're going to want to update that keyword uh, and make sure it's accurate. You don't just want to be keyword spamming and you know you really want to be as accurate as possible. So ballet core, interesting, right? So another one is, uh, so, okay. Soft colors and shades of pink. So create they create a charming look with softness and grace in satin embrace the chic and elegant tone aesthetic with effortless style so if you have anything in your inventory that's matching this style right here you're going to want to plug in the relevant keywords that is going to help i will say i don't have much ballet core items in my store this is a great trending keyword and i'm going to say it was before the Barbie movie came out, but now even more so. If you have like anything hot pink, bright pink, pink like you see in this photo right here, you want to plug in your keyword Barbie core. Barbie core or Barbie. Um, you, you're seeing this trend take off and you want to tap into what is trending. So pink and bright, embrace the bright, fun nature of this aesthetic with useful pieces, patterns, that would be flowers, stripes, polka dots, and tween and teen styles, a little fun and brightness to your wardrobe at this playful aesthetic. So that is where you would want to plug in Barbie core. The next one is biker core. What is that? Well, it sounds like the name suggests. I do have a few Harley Davidson pieces. I can think of another brand, um, uh, Affliction, you know, creates more of a biker apparel. And that's where you'd want to plug in that keyword, biker core. So if you have anything looking like this in your store, do you go back and look and plug in that keyword, biker core. So leather jackets and vests, embrace the classic biker look with some leather riding gloves and bandanas add some accessories to your look that really pull it all together number three is ripped in distressed jeans pair your tough look with some denim so if your denim jeans have some holes have some distressing or maybe they're just thrashed straight up destroyed and unwearable i would use keywords like thrash destroyed but also biker and biker core workwear chore those are the keywords that are going to match the buyer best. So we got studs, black, and tattoos. Don't be afraid to bring your own edge to your biker look. So if your item has studs, put it in the title. That is a great keyword. Another one is bohemian. This one is trending. Uh, boho, boho chic. Uh, log and look, any type of those aesthetics are kind of tied to the overall bohemian look. And it's more of a hippie kind of 70s type of fashion you can see here. So if you have items that look like this in your store and you're struggling with sales, go back and start plugging in the word bohemian, boho. Those are going to be some trending keywords. So based on this aesthetic is tapestry, plants. So embrace a colorful and natural look with plants and tapestries, macrame and rattan. Bring some earthly and intricate tones, vibrant colors and patterns. So celebrate the gypsy feel with colors and patterns. 
Chunky jewelry. Add some boldness with a chunky statement piece. So we were going to be mainly basing this on clothing, but it does apply to other, you know, just like jewelry, uh, bandanas, hats, uh, purses. These keywords are going to be relevant in those categories as well. Uh, Boho chic, a little bit different. The style is a little bit different. So boho chic, what does this entail? Natural textures. Incorporate organic fabrics like linen and earthly tones into your outfit. Neutral colors. So take a classic chic approach with neutral color range. Dainty accents. Include unique details in accessories like beaded headbands or hoops. So if you have items that look like this in your store, you'd want to plug in that relevant keyword, boho chic. And I'm telling you guys right now, my sales with newer listed items with these keywords are starting to gain more and more tra traction and traffic, uh, more attention, more watchers. Um, and especially in a time like we've experienced over the last four weeks on eBay, you're going to want to be doing as much as you can to educate yourself to really take advantage of people that aren't willing to learn. And there's a lot of people out there that aren't willing to learn, that are set in their ways. I truly believe that keywords and doing keyword research is going to be a constant thing. I by no means am an expert at keywords. This is something I'm still learning and that I have been learning for two and a half years. That's why I say go back to your oldest listings first and start plugging in these trending keywords to help kind of bring those listings back from the dead. Um, and that's something that I'm going to be doing, uh, though it may take me a while. So this is what I just encourage you guys to do in a time of where we've had a slow month. You know, July was my slowest month of the year. I don't know about you guys uh, on eBay, but um, I'm going all in on educating myself, getting better, not bitter, but getting better at what I can be doing, the things that I can control. I can't control whether people buy my items or not, but what I can do is I can plug in some relevant keywords that can match these buyers best. So that's why I thought today's podcast would be helpful for people that maybe might be struggling with slower sales and th some things that they could do to um, take advantage of you know people using these keywords more and more. Vendu would have not done this study if it wasn't going to be helpful for you guys. So just want to take some time to acknowledge people. Eric the champ thanks Bo. What's going on? Lag in the house. How's it going? And what's going on, Marcus? Good to see you. I know you're working, working hard. Um, but yeah, if you guys have questions, just drop them in the comments. And uh, I'm here to help you guys, here to bring you value, here to kind of share experiences on what I'm doing in my business to help generate more sales. So I want to touch on a few more keywords that can be really helpful for you guys. Um, just really looking at the styles and matching them up with what you guys have in your store and then plugging in those keywords. So we got cabin core. What does that mean? I don't know. Let's find out. So cabin core is like cozy sweaters. Stay snug in a cozy cabin sweater. Buffalo plaid and flannels. Add some woodland chic to your look and moccasins and hiking boots. So stay stylish and comfortable with reliable footwear. So cabin core, if you have things like outerwear, heavy plaid, lumberjack looking clothing, you want to plug in the keyword cabin core. Also lumberjack is a great keyword as well. So we got classic core, similar to kind of preppy, preppy keyword, but classic core is a good one too. And you can see here, there's some Polo Ralph Lauren here. So if you have some Ralph Lauren in your store, you might want to take out keywords like long sleeve, short sleeve, and replace that keyword with classic core. Neutral tones, choose from a, wide, a range of shades with no brash patterns or prints. Well-tailored basics. Okay, simple and timeless silhouettes. Create a classic and dependable wardrobe with traditional fas fashion. So it's like traditional clothing. Uh, Well-tailored basics. Choose basics with a fitted but relaxed feel. Easy to wear accessories. Create a sophisticated look with, a, with subtle add-ons like quality pair of sunglasses or premium leather belts. Uh, cute goth. So cute and youthful, 
uh, combine gothic pieces with pastel colors. Alternative must-haves. Embrace iconic styles like knee-high boots and fishnet stockings. Pastel patterns. Plant flowers, butterflies, and stars in your outfit. So if you guys have items that look like these in the photos, you definitely want to plug in those keywords that are going to be relevant. The next one is dark academia. What does that mean? So interesting. Vintage clothing. So choose classic preppy clothing for a vintage look. Shakespearean aesthetics. Embrace your inner intellectual with um, pieces inspired by Shakespeare and other literary greats. Elegant and dark. Reach for dark tones, wool, black, and brown leather. So that is where dark academia would be relevant versus light, light academia. So we got fairy core. Um, God, I didn't pick any good pictures for this. So fairy core is, I guess you can almost compare it to like Barbie core. Um, so wire rimmed glasses, bows and ribbons, lace and sheer fabrics, embrace light and delicate clothing with an unearthly patterns. Asymmetrical skirts and flowers add a touch of whimsy to your style with inventive and unique textiles. Festival. So if you have items that look festive, just like this, you want to plug in the keyword festival. Retro and funky styles. Vibrant and fun. Not so basic festival basics. Find basics that can simultaneously catch the eye as well as uphold comfort. Futuristic. So futuristic is like metallic colors. Think of science fiction styles and implement shimmer into your wardrobe. Avant-garde fashion. Uh, bring your inner aesthetic or bring out your inner artistic character with unconventional wardrobe choices in galactic vibe find pieces that create out of this world feel so futuristic so gold metallic uh silver bright popping colors that is where you want to plug in the keyword futuristic gorp core so similar to um outerwear you're going to want to put like heavy heavy flannels it stands for good old raisins and peanuts. That's what Gorp Core stands for. So people who hike, people are outdoors. So um, plaid flannels, hiking shoes, fleece pullovers and neutral colors, outdoor necessities. Login look fashion. So this is kind of like a connection with bohemian style aesthetic. Login look. So this is what it looks like. If you have items that look like login look, that's what you're going to want to plug in as your keyword. So login look is a European clothing style that is designed to suit everyone and is ideal for those looking to put their own stamp on their fashion of choice. Login look is centered on the ideal of expression, pairing clothes and statements, statement accessories to create unique looks that work perfectly for all body types. Login look is closely tied to early feminism and is similar aesthetically to the bohemian aesthetic so those are just the keywords that i found that were the most relevant that i'm kind of plugging in into my keywords and this is all based off of this page right here that you can find the link down below i highly recommend bookmark those there's two sites uh the one by vendu is a little easier to read because it comes with more photos and a brief description so we can go over some of the things that we just talked about and the website goes over a little bit more detail um relevant keywords that are going to be like let's take for festival for example so festival you'd want to plug in festival season music festival music rave hippie coachella edm all of those would be great keywords for things like festival. So let's look into futuristic. So instead of using just futuristic, you could use cybercore, sci-fi, art, cyberpunk. That is a trending keyword. Robot, glitch, and chrome. Interesting. Um, another keyword I just, off the top of my head, and this was shared in the Discord by uh, 
by Sal, actually. He said something great, because we've been talking a lot about um, military gear, um, you know, uh, camouflage and army um, uniforms, and kind of what keywords would be great to get those items to sell. And one was uh, uh, live action role play, which is LARP. So LARP Life is a great one for military gear because people who do live action role play dress up as army and like they're in the military. So LARP, L-A-R-P, or LARP Life is a great keyword for military or any camouflage uh, uniforms. That is a good one that I started updating because I do have a, I pick up a lot of military gear and people say it don't sell, don't sell for much, but yeah, it, it does. You just need to plug in the correct keywords and list it in the correct category. So LARP live action role play would be great for any type of military gear as well. So, uh, just want to get into the comments. I did not forget about y'all. Uh, the lag says the way you read this is very classy. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> I didn't do any like, uh, preparation as far as like l reading it before, uh, you know, getting on here, but thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, some of these are a mouthful for sure. They're not everyday words we use in our life. Right. Um, lag says, I like it. What's going on, Josh, Josh in the house, uh, says, Hey lag, any idea where Josh Galt is? Yeah. Where's Josh? Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you said, hey, Josh, I got Galt tied up. Sorry. <laughs> Let him go. I can't. Josh, okay. All right. You guys are just, whew. Um, I'll see what I can do. You should do audiobooks. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Um, but yeah, just getting back into Vendu, uh, Gorp Core, that's kind of going off what we were just talking about. Good old raisins and peanuts. Uh, that's what it stands for. Um, so Gorpcore is a well-dressed hiker vibe. So think of a well-dressed hiker on an aesthetically pleasing Instagram page, posting pictures from the top of a mountain. Ah, we've all seen those, right? So let's go into some what, what, uh, brands that are associated with this aesthetic. So things like Arcteryx, Patagonia, Hunter, Oakley, Salmon, the North Face, Timberland, and La Sportiva. These brands are trending. So if you are selling them, use these brands and has hashtags. These were trending hashtags uh, that they took from like Instagram and TikTok, but they will work great for relevant keywords in your eBay titles or Poshmark titles. So you might use these hashtags associated with it. So Gorp, Utility, Normcore, Hiking, Outdoors, and Earthly. So Goth. So... Goth is a well-known style originating in 1980. Hmm. Goth celebrates the darker and creepier aspects of life, combining the dark and rebellious tones of punk with romanticism of Victorian style. So what are some brands that are kind of associated with it? So we got like Hot Topic. I picked up a few Hot Topic pieces, and I plug in the keyword goth or goth core or what else? We got Mall Goth. So Mall Goth is a Y2K goth style and Hot Topics glamorized spin on gothic fashion. You got Cute Goth. You got Gothic Lolita. You got Witchcore, Whimsy Goth. I know this is crazy, but these are the trending keywords. These are the trending keywords that a lot of the younger generation are using right now. And the biggest demographic right now today in the world is is the younger generation. So these are the people that are going to be shopping more and more online. So you want to plug in these uh, keywords. So Trip is a great gothic brand. Trip NYC just sold a pair of pants by them for $100. Um, so Trip NYC, Hot Topic, Dolls Kill, iGirl, Killstar, and Black Mast. Those are some good uh, brands that are going to be associated with these uh with these keywords. So you got gothic, gothic girl, gothcore, edgy, punk, alternative, emo, emo girl. Oh boy, you can go on forever. But that's why I say you guys should bookmark that link in the description down below. So you can just refer back to this. You know, once you get this mastered and, and learned and, and nailed down, you don't need to go back and look at this. You, you will have it in your mind and you will know 
you're, you're basically just mastering the aesthetics, right? You're mastering what you're selling. And we need to learn these keywords if we want to be able to generate more sales on these reselling platforms. Another one, I pick up a ton of grandma clothing, a ton of chunky knit sweaters, a ton of boxy tops that are mainly for the older demographic. I am using, I am like spamming grandma core in those listings. If you have items that look like this, do you? eBay is great for that. eBay is perfect for that demographic. If you have items like this, you're going to want to use the keyword grandma core or granny core. It refers to a stereotypical grandmother fashion and related things like knitting, crocheting, gardening, and sewing. So think of anything your grandma would wear. So that's exactly who you'd want to pair that or think of when you're listing that. Just think of your grandma. What's she wearing? Um, so grandma core, granny core, grandparent core, knit, chunky knit, crochet, cottage core, flower core, vintage, retro. Similar to grandpa core. What are grandpas wearing? They're wearing exactly this photographed right here. So grandpa core refer refers to a stereotypical wholesome grandfather style. So old man style with retro vibes. People are loving it. People love wearing this. The younger generation loves wearing this. It's insane. Um, you might use these hashtags, grandpa core, grandpa, grandpa style, granddad, dad bod, <laughs> retro vintage. And I also use another one, uh, old money is a good one for kind of grandpa, older demographic style clothing. Uh, another good one is heritage. Heritage fashion is intended to apply to classic American brands that provide durability and quality. However, the hashtag is commonly used on quality and popular utility and workwear brands and styles. So things like Carhartt, um, that would be a good one. Heritage, Carhartt, Dickies workwear, that would be good. Um, so heritage is found in many other aesthetics. Okay. So classic core, grandpa core, norm core, workwear. Um, heritage encompasses classic fashion, a touch of vintage, and a major emphasis on utility. So if you have seen the show Peaky Blinders, uh, you have seen heritage fashion. So wool overcoats, satchels, heavy work pants, corduroy material, leather shoes, and flat caps. So classic heritage brands are Ralph Lauren, Patagonia, Timberland, Carhartt. And uh, yeah, so heritage is a good one. If you have items that look like this, you might want to plug in those keywords. Heritage. Kawaii. So kawaii is a cute, youthful Japanese aesthetic, often characterized by the adorable consumer culture of Japan. Interesting. So kawaii means cute in Japanese. And kawaii is popularized by K-pop boy brands. Interesting. So if you have items that look like this, plug in that keyword. Kid core. Uh, kid core is centered around nostalgic, youthful 90s and early 2000s, retro, nostalg nostalgic, innocence. Kid core is about kids' fashion. I don't sell any kids' clothes. So if you do, you might want to plug in those keywords. Um, vintage kids, kid core, 90s kids, Nickelodeon, nostalgia. Mermaid core. Now we're getting out there, right? Um, <laughs> mermaid core is about mermaids, of course. Um, so most uh, most of this aesthetic is about the mermaid tail. The mermaid fashion is mostly about aquatic colors, blues, greens. Uh, mermaid textures are shiny, holographic, and iridescent. Interesting. So a lot of these are out there, and I'm not selling too much mermaid clothing, but we'll keep scrolling down. If you do, plug that keyword in. Minimalist. This is a great one. Um, minimalism is a beautiful, clean, and s clean simplicity. This aesthetic rejects clutter, vibrance, and unnecessary detail. Minimalism is a common trend in art, lifestyle, home decor, and fashion. Yeah, so minimalism as an aesthetic in fashion context basically means plain and basic. So resellers use this hashtag or keyword as sort of a catch-all for simple pieces. So if you have simple-looking clothing, you'd want to type in minimalism. 
or minimalist. You won't use this to describe anything flashy, vibrant, colorful, funky, embellished, or loud. Instead, minimalistic items are quaint, simple, plain, understated, and small. Think of a simple, dainty necklace with a small pendant rather than a shiny, bedazzled, chunky, layered necklace. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, so minimalist, minimal, minimalist, classic, simple, basic. Good keywords for items that are basic. Great. So normcore, what the heck does that mean? Normcore, we got, um, let's see, I'm trying to look. So normcore is classic everyday wear with a hint of retro classic vibes. Huh. So generally people think of the sitcom Seinfeld when they think of normcore and the unpretentious everyday life and style portrayed therein. You see basic sneakers, caps, button-down shirts, trousers, Okay, you all, you'll you also see a lot of team or college logo hoodies. Think everyday wear for dad. A lot of normcore is also dadcore. Normcore is often used alongside classic core, heritage, and gorp core. So brands that would match normcore are L.L. Bean, Ralph Lauren, and Levi's. So I know everyone's selling Levi's. If I were you, I would plug in Normcore for every piece of Levi's that exists right now. So other is like Dadcore, Basic, Casual, and Everyday for keywords. You got Phoebe Core, Phoebe from our best show ever, Friends. Um, but yeah, so it literally has its own aesthetic, Phoebe. So uh, Phoebe Buffet is also the famous and lovable Phoebe Buffet in the 90s sitcom Friends. So if you have items that look like this, it's going to be a good idea to put in at least the word Phoebe. Um, so it's a bohemian hippie style and witty charm. Uh, so... To be clear, this aesthetic is not just for items that identically match what Phoebe wore on the show, but anything that Phoebe, Phoebe would wear based on her persona. So um, other relevant keywords would be Central Perk, Bohemian, 1990s, 90s style, and Hip. So Preppy is a good one. I use Preppy a lot, and a lot for my Ralph Lauren pieces, Hollister, uh, Aeropostle, that's more of preppy, right? So you want to be able to plug in those keywords. Um, the most stereotypical portrayal of prep aesthetic is inspired by prep school uniforms. Plaid and argyle patterns, cardigans, half-zip sweaters, ties, Oxford button-downs, polos, shirts, loafers, pleated skirts. Preppiness influences so many of the cores and aesthetics on this list. So preppy bolo brands, Barber, Burberry, Brooks Brothers, J. Crew, L.L. Bean, Lacoste, Lily Pulitzer, Pendleton, Ralph Lauren, Vineyard Vines, Marc Jacobs, and Draper James. So if you have items that look preppy, plug in that keyword. You could use preppy. P-R-E-P-P-I-E, preppy style. You can do schoolgirl, knit, plaid, academia, Ivy League, university, career. You got punk core. We could go on forever. We'll keep going. But if you guys have questions about anything we're talking about, please, I'd love to help you. <laughs> because this can be a little overwhelming. I mean, if you're just starting out and you are, you know, figuring out what a difference between a button down collar and a button up shirt is um, this can be a little intense so i say just take it in bite-sized pieces because you will get overwhelmed with all of the things that we're talking about um, and, and also too you don't need to race to redo all your titles i just say start with a few a day and start updating them but i want to get into the chat what's going on william good morning buddy hope you're having a good day yes we're about to go yard sailing, so it's going to be an awesome day. We'll see what's out there. Uh, Jamie, what's going on? Good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Eric says, do you use a camera app on an iPhone or Android or the stock camera? Do you not use a phone? I have both a phone and a Pixel. Yeah, or an iPhone and a Pixel. So I use this right here for my photography, and I just use the stock camera app on this phone. It's a Samsung Galaxy S10, which does the job. 
you know, it does okay. I shoot everything on auto on a four by three landscape and, um, it, it does okay. I think that the colors come out a little bit skewed when I'm taking photos of yellow and pink. That seems to be the most, the hardest for this camera. But, um, and I also have a lanyard too. I think that's really helpful when you're taking the photos. But the S10 is probably the bare minimum that you'd want to choose. Um, I just got this on Amazon, uh, pre-owned, um, and yeah, it works. So um, I think anything above a Galaxy S10 is going to be great for you, uh, but the iPhone works just as good too. So um, that's what I use, and it seems to work out just fine. Eric says, I can't get green or teal to show up right. Yeah, there are a few colors that you're going to have to play around with, but remember, if you're listing on eBay, don't think that you need a $100,000 photography setup to get the best product photography that you can. You just want to be able to get as accurate as you can possible. So, you know, I, I've been taking photos. I, I've taken hundreds of thousands of photos with the Samsung Galaxy. Sorry, I got flies in here. But um, the, um, the Samsung Galaxy does great, but you're not going to get that product photography if you were taking with uh, photos with like a DSLR and you know things like that. I'm going for speed and efficiency and the amount of returns that I get for doesn't match uh, description or doesn't match the photos um, with color is so minimal. It's very rare that the colors are off. So and also color is subjective. So, um, you know, some person sees black and then some person sees charcoal, dark gray. So um, just make sure it gets as close, as accurate as possible. Uh, let's see. Josh says, Grandma Core and Cottage Core blew up last year. Yep, I'm probably behind on updating most of my titles. Love Mermaids, Lag says. Uh, Miley Core, that's a good one. Uh, basement Core, interesting. I don't know. <laughs> uh, William says, uh, hit up some garage sales this morning. Only thing I found was four women's 3X tops and a new tag Worthington fuzzy jacket. Very Phoebe Buffet. Well, very good. Yeah, um, yard sale season is only for so long here in Oregon, so I'm definitely going to try to hit as many as I can over the next few weeks before the rain comes. Uh, Rini Reselling says, Y2K is a good one. Yes, um, you're just seeing it more and more. You know, especially when you're going to the bins or if you go to the Goodwill outlet, you know, you're seeing all the vintage kids wear all Y2K, wide, baggy leg, relaxed, loose-fitting clothing. So Y2K is almost a must if you're listing anything that looks similar to what, you know, those extreme uh, kind of aesthetics just 20 years ago. So I want to go back into just reviewing this website for you guys because I know it can be helpful for you. We won't go through all of these, but there's a ton of them. Retro Glam, Rocker, there's Skater. Skater is a great one. Um, Southwestern, you got Sportswear, you got Steampunk, you got Streetwear. Techwear is a good one. You got Twee. I don't even know what the heck that is. You got Western, Y2K Vintage, that's a great one right there, and uh, Y2K Style, also a good one. So yeah, that's what I wanted to share. That was kind of just on my mind this last week, just since we had a lot of questions come up recently in the comments on YouTube and in the Patreon. So I wanted to just refresh all of you guys out there that, hey, if you're struggling with slow sales and maybe you want to be able to do something that's not going to cost any money, go in and start working on your oldest listings. The other website I'm referring to is a little bit more in depth and you're going to have to do a little bit more research clicking around on here, but it's a uh, famdom famdom.com aesthetics so this is their list of trending aesthetics it's like a wikipedia page for everything that is in alphabetical order you got it right here i mean you got ghost core you got geek you got goth core you got goth punk you got uh you got basically you know things that are just gonna be it's gonna take time and i think that that's what you should expect is Things like learning keywords are always going to take time. Um, but the more that you spend time learning about these keywords, the better you are about 
learn uh, mastering the items that you're selling. So check those out, link down below. I think it's going to be really helpful for you guys. And if you're catching this on the replay and you have any questions about what we just talked about that, leave it in the comment section down below and I will be happy to answer any questions. So I hope you all have a blessed rest of the weekend and take care.